The Salamis tablet is probably the oldest surviving early abacus. It's a huge counting board made of white marble and was discovered in 1846 on the Greek island of Salamis, the biggest island in the Saronic Gulf close to Athens. The board is dated to around 300 BC. In the 5th century BC, Greek historian Herodotus reported about abacuses in ancient Egypt. So abacuses existed before, nevertheless the Salamis tablet is the oldest found so far. To determine how this board actually was used in ancient times, we have to consider that the concept of negative numbers didn't exist in antiquity. As late as in the 3rd century AD, more than 500 years after the Salamis tablet was built, Greek mathematician Deophantus of Alexandria still regarded negative numbers as non-existent. A subtraction was only possible when the result was greater or equal zero. So let's see how this counting board most likely was used in ancient times. The board is divided by a vertical line. The right side is for addition and the left side for subtraction. There are also horizontal lines labeled with ancient Attic numerals for the decimal places 1, 10, 100 and so on. The spaces between the lines are for 5, 50, 500 and so on. As an example, let's say we are at a market and want to buy different goods. There's feta cheese for 79 coins, olive oil for 119, bread for 45 and honey for 30 coins. I'd like to have 4 feta cheese, 4 bottles of olive oil, 14 bread and 6 glasses of honey. Let's start with one feta cheese for 79. How is that amount represented on the board? We lay one pebble at 50, two at 10, one at 5 and four pebbles at 1. Now we add the second feta cheese. We simply multiply each pebble by 2. Afterwards we have to sum up and simplify the number representation. Okay, two feta cheese cost 158 coins together. In total we want four feta cheese, twice as much as um, it's already on the table. Therefore we simply multiply each pebble by two. Then we sum up again and um, put the result on the right side of the board. The price for four feta cheese is 316 coins. Now we continue with one olive oil. It costs 119. Now we add the pebbles for the second olive oil. Then we sum up um, the price for the two olive oils on the left side of the board. We want twice as much olive oil, therefore we multiply the pebbles for the olive oil by two. Now we have to sum up the price for the olive oil with the price for the feta cheese. We now have calculated the combined price of 4 feta cheese and 4 olive oil. It's 792 coins. Next we put the price for one bread on the board. It's 45 coins. We multiply this by 2 to get the price for 2 breads. We again multiply it by 2 and then have the price for 4 breads, which is 180 coins. Now we add the price for the remaining 10 breads, which is 450 coins. Now we have to sum up the pebbles for the bread with um, the pebbles for the other goods. The overall price for feta cheese, olive oil and bread is 1422. One class of honey costs 30. Two classes of honey cost 60. We want three times more, therefore we multiply the pebbles by three. Now we have the prices of all goods on the table, but we have to simplify the numbers to get a final result. 
Okay, finished. The combined price for all goods is 1,602 coins. We pay with our 2,000 coins and now we have to calculate how much money we get back. The change is 398 coins. Thank you for your purchase. Goodbye.